I'm gonna get a little bit of update. So here's where you have to take off this head to port match it. So you see, you push the gasket up as high as it can. It's a lot of material. That's a good, I'll measure it here with the micrometer in a second, but this head's been done already. It's big time opened up there, so. And the actual distance is, Four, four millimeters. So that's a big difference on top there. Anyways, keep porting away. This is the secondary. This is the, uh, I believe this is, the, this is the back head. I've got the bowls all done. Insides all done here as much as I can. Cleaned out as much as I can. I am going to pocket, I'm going to port this out here and then start blending in and basically treat the same roof. Keep the same texture. It's a little more aggressive than factory, but hopefully this will help channel the uh, exhaust straighter. I don't know. We'll see. See if my philosophy works or not but the factory one still has like a it still has a ridge on it there it's not as sharp as mine so we'll see if it works or not okay so did a little bit of move my snow build today and i did some porting and did a couple of things today um so basically both are poured both exhaust sides are all poured out all you do now is go basically go back inside with this bit here and just blend it out i mean check with the level make sure things flat so far it is flat um Easiest way is basically close your eyes and rub it and feel it. There's a hump right here you can feel. But I will put a, a little stridge in here. A couple of stuff I gotta clean up in here. So once I get these done, the exhaust port's done, I'm gonna go in with the basically, where's those bits at? I'm gonna grab them for you. Okay, so basically these are the old bits. You can see how long they are. These are about, I bought these about, I think about three, four years ago when I did my last uh, head, probably four years ago. And these are the new ones. <laughs> See a difference, like in length, the shaft length. They've taken off almost half an inch. Sorry, half an inch of length. That is retarded. And they charge. These are like nine bucks a piece at the store. I think ten, but nine nine nine. I got them on Amazon for seven dollars. So I'm kind of pissed off with that. The ones in the store are the same thing. Their shaft is store short. So anyways, what I'm gonna do is I bought this rod. I'm gonna cut the, the rod at about probably an inch and a half or two inches, and then TIG weld it on there. And then try to get, I'll try to get it as straight as I can. And then um, I'll have to bend it back and forth when it's in the bit to make sure it doesn't wobble. Because we spin these things up to like, a, I think it's like 20, 20,000 RPM. So they, when they get a little vibration, they start shaking and they come loose and they actually break off. So anyways, I'll wall these up tomorrow. Probably get do one at a decent length and then one at a longer length. And I'll turn the RPMs down because I need to get down into the head. And that there is not gonna do shit. That's for like chainsaw. I don't know what will help. I don't know. I used to get used to get them squared off, but they they used to be longer. But like I said, here's the old shaft right here, and then this new shaft. They're just they're skimping us. They're trying to save that extra. You, you figure out half an inch, you know, for a, a million bits is a lot of money. So and they charge more for it now. So anyways, that's it for tonight for this thing. Um, yeah. So basically. Like I said, tomorrow I'll clean the rest of the ports up, and then I'll start on the intake saw, I'll do the bowls, the, the bowls and the pockets, and then uh, I'll wait until I get the, um, holy crap, the port the CNC runners. And when I get that, I'll port match, and then the heads are done. I'll bring them to the machine shop, get a five angle valve job, and also get them to deck them too, check them, resurface them. May as well, I'm there. It'll up the compression a little bit, give me a little extra oomph, but. I'm going to be de-chamfering de the chambers here. I'll show you here. All right, de-shrouding. So basically, you can see here, there's like a shirt, there's a lip in here. Especially the exhaust side, there's a big lip right here. It's pretty sharp. Anyways, so basically, get rid of the sharp edges. Right here is a sharp edge. Just basically, smooth the combustion chamber out. And then basically, port match this to the actual head gaskets. It's a sharp edge right here. I can probably cut myself right here. That's a sharp edge right here. This is a good spot for detonation, which is not... Which we don't you don't want that. So, anyways, set for night. So I've got basically all the pockets done. Uh, the bolt matching is all done. Now it's basically into going to be the, the polishing. Uh, well, the sanding phase. Basically, what it does is it bang, brings it pretty. Uh, so these are these ports are pretty. 
These are both ports now. Pretty, uh, pretty close to the gasket matched. So I will. Um, this is the back PCD here. I'm gonna put the cap in the light. It's hard to see the light. Need some light, people. So get this thing to stand here. So I'm gonna I'm gonna take weld the little tack in here, and then basically, uh, so take weld a little tack in here, grind it down. So the port is all as high as it can go. So when I put it on this port, it's gonna be in the same position, not go like it's got a little bit more play than I like it right now. So basically, you can see it in here goes up and down in the port. So basically, if I raise up all the way, there is a lip on the bottom side. I have no way of videotaping that because I can't get the camera in there. If I had a smaller camera, yeah, you can't see it. But there's a small lip that I can fill up my hand. So anyways. Tack weld it, raise the uh, PCD up, and then I'm gonna bore this out also. I have my my two and three quarter pipe showing up this week, so it should show up soon. So basically, what I'm doing right now is, is I'm polishing, smoothing out all the bores. I've done, I've done just played around with uh, my cartridge here. You see they're starting to get a little smoother here. All the ports are getting smoother, more blended in. I've worked the uh, valve guys a little bit. I'm gonna have to get rid of that little burr there, but you can see here, like, this is a rough shape one here. You can see the sides is not very, that's uh, about polishing. And then, hold on a second here. This one here has got a little bit of polishing. You can see it's a little more blended in. I've also got to do the measure these out here, the uh, EGR ports, I'm gonna measure those out. And then I gotta smash, I'm gonna press in, well, I'll measure to, t t I'll measure it and I'll lathe it. Get as much tight as I can in there. If I have to hammer it in there or freeze it and then expand the head a little bit and push it in and then cut it off. I'll just, well, I'll just, I'll make it small off in here so I can put the plug back in, pound it back in there. And then basically here, I want to flush and then when I grind this down, I want this area to be basically smooth like factory. And that, I don't want that slug sliding out or moving. So I'll probably machine it so I have a little bit more, it's got a little more meat on this side. <coughs> um, this one here. I can get it all the way to the end here. There's no way for it to slide in and out. So I will like, um, I could even weld, I could even put a little weld here on this side here if I really wanted to. But I think what I'm gonna do is um, take my drill and make a slight, uh, go in here maybe a quarter inch bevel. Here too, I can go take my big drill bit, put a quarter inch bevel, and when I machine the, um, the dowel, machine the top piece a little bigger so when it slides in it has no way it can only go it can only go this way it can't go that way so then i get it here and then i'll grind it smooth whatever's left in there and i'll blend the port in so this is the update for now so basically both heads are the in the exhaust ports are all oh one second so both exhaust ports are done uh they, they pretty much match each other i measure them out they're pretty close um i think it's this one here is so this one here needs a little bit more work um i've blended all the port inside here I did have a little scare in here. I was like pushing here and I felt a little, almost like a little lion, but I didn't do a lot of work right here. I was very, very cautious in this area. When I pushed in here earlier today, I pushed in, I was like, I felt a line there. I was like, what the hell, you know? Same thing here, it's exactly the same. I felt this lip and what it is, is actually my my grinding bit when I was in there with the uh, this bit here, the backside made a little bit of a line there. I was going in there right here and it caught right there and it basically made a little line. And I was pressing on it and I was like, oh my God, did I go through the aluminum? So I actually took a, my long screwdriver and I pressed in there hard and no, it's, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't press through the water jacket. So I'm pretty sure Honda didn't put the freaking casting right to the end. If they did, they were stupid, but I, just, I didn't take a lot of it. Maybe, maybe, uh, maybe two mil just cleans out, but this might be able to see the little line there. Mm. No, it's hard with the camera. Yeah. Anyways, um, so the port, that's the ports there you can see here. They gotta be cleaned up. This exhaust port's got a little bit of pol- There's no, this one here? So I'm starting to polish the inside that there. There you go. It's hard to get the camera. The camera doesn't want to adjust properly. There's some, there's some carbon, there's some soot there. Anyways, lots of progress right now I have. It's not really a lot. Because uh, it's been super, super cold here. I have heat in the garage, but I've been working on stuff outside. It's uh, minus 38 with the windshield, minus 40 sometimes in the morning with the windshield. So anyways, um, my, my three and three quarters pipe from Vibrant should be, show, should be showing up next week. So basically, I said I'm going to weld it to here. You see a difference in size. Um, the two and three quarters is going to basically be pretty close to the outside of this piece right here. It's going to weld the outside of it. So I'm not going to touch the outside of it. Um, so I'm going to weld it to the exterior. But before I do that, 
I have to enlarge this area here also. I think I showed you this before, but you can see. Yeah, you won't be able to see the camera. Anyways, um, this here, I'm gonna enlarge this area here. You always want this area to be a little bit larger because you don't want the exhaust gas hitting the steel edge and then it has to go up. You want this to be a slightly like a millimeter bigger and the gas goes seal on it. Like it'll seal up in there, but you can see that it's, I'll have to, I have to put bolts in it, but maybe tomorrow what I'll do is I'll tackle the, the, the bombs here. I'll put some tacks in it and then just put tacks on both sides here and allow me to slide the whole thing up and make sure it's in the, um, the port where I want it. So it's locked in place. And then I'm going to port this inside here. Take a good, like a good 16th of an inch out this whole area, port the whole thing out, um, clean it as much as I can and then get this thing to flow as much. Cause the big thing with these motors, these, these heads is basically this port does not flow enough. If you do the math, um, I think the surface area, I'll have to do the math, I'll do, I'll do it real quick. And I'll let you know right now, give me a second. Okay, so I did the math real quick. This here, non-ported, is 4.48, 4 point, so basically 4.49 inches squared here, surface area. Um, the individual ports that are one and three quarter are 7.2 inches. So you can just tell the individual ports have a lot more surface area, so they will flow better. And they actually do flow better than this. Unfortunately, this is emissions crap and this heats the cats up faster but you know we're not going after that so if i were to gasket if i were to gasket match this to this and just do a slightly little bit just clean up as tight as i can it'll bring it to 4.9 inches it's five so it's still a lot smaller than the individual port but you know we need to get this flow as much as we can because this is the biggest ball neck and unfortunately there's not much you can do with it um i could go you could switch up to some j32 heads but i'm, I'm not sure what what has to be done to put j32 heads on uh that block because i know the crank the camshaft and crank the time bolt smaller um you need different spacers i'm not sure um is it worth it probably not um well it'll probably make power but the only thing i know i know you can put j37 internals and j32 block because the deck heights are the same and just bore it out um but unfortunately you can't put j32 block on j37 transmission because that generation transmission is different so you're kind of stuck with these heads um i'm gonna c calculate the surface area of the actual the old gasket which is basically the seems to grow on their own legs and walk away no it's right here um i'd be curious to see this just do surface area you have the old gas the uh the non the old the older heads i'll do it real quick right now just do a quick little equation to see what this difference in size is okay so i was wrong the the port on basically this the original my j the j37 is 3.169 wide and then Okay, so basically if these are both the same width, they're 3.29, but it's the actual height. You can actually see I'll put them on top of each other. Uh, where is it? Tired of the rivets. Um, the port is actually about, an, it's about, I'd say, it's about 3 sixteenths more. It's hard to see right there, but you can see it's right here. So what is 3.69? That difference makes it basically 5... 5.0 so it's actually half an inch more surface area in the old one than the new one i don't know why i went to that i think it was just exhaust scavenging and lower rpm whatever it is but um i don't know it'd be the one person really answer this would be uh, sean at p2r uh if the the third generation head flows less than a two generation head but i know his cnc program they get pretty close but um yeah the exhaust port on the uh the j35 series one is actually bigger and this one here has more surface area. So anyways, enough of that yip yap, and that's it for tonight. Um, tomorrow I'm going to get pounding away on the rest of this, get it done. And uh, yeah, so that's my video for today. And you know, the story's kind of boring, but you know, if you guys have any questions, suggestions, throw them down below. Anyways, have a good night, guys. And uh, you can, for you Canadians, enjoy the cold. <laughs> it's uh, Right now it's, I think, minus 38 right now. So it's going to be a chilly night. So good night, guys.